Hi everyone, today is Newbie Byte number 13, Dictionaries Part 2. We're going to dive into dictionary methods. Currently, dictionaries have 11 methods. This is as of Python 3.10. Dictionaries stored in Python are stored as D-I-C-T. Just be on the lookout for that. If you see D-I-C-T, it's really just short for dictionary. Let's head over to the terminal and see what this looks like open up the code that I had from the last video. Instead of exiting and entering the REPL, I'm going to do everything inside NeoVim. Fire up a Python REPL. There's just a floating window of my terminal. And I'm going to check out the dictionary object in dir. You can see the available methods for dictionaries. There's the same number of methods as there are for lists, but there are some different ones. The three that we're going to focus on today are keys, items and values back in our code we're going to get rid of this lookup value and instead we're going to put dot keys at the end again we're accessing this with the dot notation the method name and then parentheses since it is in fact a function and there you can see it we have our dictionary keys we can do the same thing with the values There's all the values, and we can actually do the same thing with the items. Notice that when you do this with the items, the key and the value are both surrounded by parentheses. This is just a glimpse at a different type of data structure called a tuple or a tuple, depending on how you, you want to pronounce it. We'll talk about that more in a later lesson in a different video, but just to let you know, they are packaged inside tuples when you use this process. It might be interesting too to look at the type of these. So let's go ahead and print this out. And I'm just going to change these to keys and values. Each one of these is their own special types in Python. Dictionary items, dictionary keys, and dictionary values. So just because it looks like a list, notice that it was wrapped in a dictionary with parentheses around it. It is a special data type in Python. These become really powerful when you use these methods in conjunction with things like for loops. That will also be in a different video for today. Just get practice calling these methods items, dot keys, and dot values. Good luck with today's bite.